I made sure that the headphones are connected so there should be sound. Sorry I haven't played this as much with Pokemon or Board Drop, but focusing on that. Okay, what was I doing? Alright, I just freed the dragon. So, what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for Chain Dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King. Regularly came here for the statue side quest. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Brothers! Need more time! Oh. I'm ready! Oh, there it is. Good way to get a bag of swing things. I really gotta stop saying that. annoying well if you could Odin be laughing his ass off right now well, I actually hit it Father's great. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? Yep. As soon as I figure out the right place to attack him. There he goes. How is he planning on doing this himself? They know you could grab the items without being a statue. Okay, I had to think about how to change that for a second. Oh! 
How would that affect it staying up? Seriously. easily boy I know I know I was just joking nor are they a joking matter sorry <laughs> Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us because that is their nature but with all that power you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people and yet the gods continue to spread misery this is life boy The heck is that? Come here. What can you tell me about that giant lady with the bow? She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all, but her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. Jesus. She was overcome with grief and shame. For there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. The crank is saying nothing for obvious reasons. <coughs> Probably taking the stupid long way around. Gets you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. <laughs> I must have missed this. Boy, over here. Sir. Vathergar. Southern outpost of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful dwarf ruling over some poor sods not far from here. Not that you asked me.
have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagop, the great boy. Oh, right where I'm at the there beach. were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. He called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. You stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond of this realm is severed, and I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave god. Want to look for Thor on his own. <laughs> he is a fool. What did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can. I'm sorry, if it's back in the direction I just came from. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door. Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. found something interesting. Did you now? Tyr would have been pleased as peaches knowing these offerings were being turned to armor. Did you know him? What was he like? Never you mind, boy. <clears throat> Tyr's dead. Best not to dig up the past. The dwarf speaks wisely, for once. Let's sort you out.
Be letting that spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. And Virginia, got something else in mind? Well, what else were we talking about? All right. Are you the other side of the Where's the map? Okay. I think I'll leave that up till much later actually. Going to get back to main quest. Atreus, to me. This way. Ed, you are full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I'm just insulting you. Yeah, I got that. So you want a court cup, do you? Very well, my brothers. Tell you the story of Brunia, the brawler, the real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but no. Brunia, you see, was born with neither head nor heart, so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrunir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hrunir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. That's true. <coughs> Ulfik. You were taken from this realm too early. Oh. Hi. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. 
She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones. Ah, good. Gulvig the special chisel reward. is ahead, past this gate. I'll do the quest a little later. For those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> There was a giant once, named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Gore. And what happened next? You'll see. I mean, it's kind of obvious what happened next, really. Cool. Oh. Oh, no. You fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. <clears throat> Am I still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording good. Enemies. A wolf! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Go. I'm set! Go. Enemies ahead! Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, I forgot about that. Whoa, Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. I really forgot about that finisher. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. That big chisel on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Let's shoot it again. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Yep. Another one this, this close? Locked up good. Atreus, to me! Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. It's still pretty cool how it looks in the background, as sad as it is. Hostiles up ahead. Do we fight them? Yep. Natural. 
I'm keeping it out with the ancients on. Hey, how did the world trees that? That's Andy. I like crystal base, but where's the crystal? Around. See the crystal up there. What does it say? Yes, sir. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. I missed it. What do you do? Oh, that was interesting. Over there. So where's the third one? I think we came in from there. Okay, how am I going to do this? It's over here. Should probably get the other two first. Right now, continue on.
It took a lot longer than it should have. Lightning one's my favorite. Hits multiple enemies and stuns them. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Ready. Even though you're right there. He pushed the chain down. Wow, that was uh, something that the <laughs> fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? 
There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. <laughs> That's only scared of me. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. Yeah, just hit it once. Wait, no, yes, yes, come in. Clarity, good help. That looks amazing. Resources. That's to tidy up your knapsack. Happy to provide. doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? <laughs> Boy, Armor really liked jewelry, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. No, snow covered corpse. This might take a while. favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave him? The dagger stabbed him to the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. 
along with that whetstone that I could use to help you? <sighs> I'll get it after I get the chisel. We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. I was expecting Crazy to say you do that at that point. Alright, I should probably get the axe back. Try yourself! I really looked up for any. Oh. Get up there. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. <laughs> the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Oh. So again, I didn't realize that there was something over there. There we go.
Okay, on we go. I can't even reach up there. I'm not trying to go up. Turn. Okay. There we go. One more should do it. Okay, guess not. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? <laughs> I'm just waiting for another enemy to come out while well, those while I'm not expecting it. Going up, and what we need is all the way down there. Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. I mean, half the things Chris does is relies on luck, too. Tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Wait. Jump. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. I think I'd be better at commentaries how long I've been doing YouTube now.
Oh no, the floor's collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. I know that one. Winter! Quiet, Ed. Doesn't like music either. Got it. I'm back at it, y'all. First, I can do something. And now I only have a half hour if I need to get ready for work. Do it! Oh, wait, no. Bauer, Sumar, Sumar! No, -uh. that wasn't right. Do it! Vetter, Bar, Sumar, House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Unless, is it supposed to be backwards? Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Oh, wow. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Thola. Basically, just an elevator. Ed, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Order himself, in fact. Used to. Let me save. Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the ball! Yeah! 
Back to writing, before the floor collapses. Almost there. She didn't think about that for a second. You did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Okay. Anything interesting? Nope, I don't see a raven. And get it free. A push. But trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? Come. <laughs> Do not panic! Why would I panic? That's why? I have you! Yeah. 
You're cracked. You know that. <laughs> well, well. Good. We should keep moving. If I remember correctly, the boss fight is coming up soon. The chisel tip! Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. What, you can't go down? Or do I have to go back to that later? There it is. Yeah, I don't trust those, that's why. Those are the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. I guess Kratos has a point they have no excuse, but the fact they were taught that from an early age. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. <coughs> this is locked up good. <laughs> okay, so I can't really get anywhere. I guess I do have to do this. There. Oh, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. I didn't see that. I can see a path out, but there's no way to reach it.
Now you've got the I like the wolves better. Guilty from that was badass. Lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Hey, Sindri, could you take a look at this? Uh, oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? I prefer effective. What speaks to you? Wash your hands. Let's Actually, get can't to it. buy it. Oh. Uh. Well, don't buy anything on my account. Will you focus on your damn job again? You quit that shit. I mean it. We went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had to see straight in the ears. As long as I believe so do it. So you will stop. Go. 
Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Why did you say that? Uh oh. Yeah. Kids first encounter with gods. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, brother. Gotta have a good time, you The fact that they're doing this much damage. Shut 
Boy's sick, he needs flair. No! Steady. <laughs> I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <laughs> First I'm time he's fine, killed see? a guy in years. We should keep an eye on him. Troubly consequences, huh? Okay, Lepter Alloy. And now I can upgrade the axe again, that's good. Like that, so in some way, upgrade it. Enough should do with that. We can carve the travel room to Jotunheim, get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. I was moving the right stick, not the left. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern. Then when can you kill a god? <coughs> what? I mean, took care of the Olympians, so... Okay, but where's the other two? Do I need to come back down? More likely.
Okay, where's that last one? There we go. Miss this. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take Wait, utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. <laughs> to work we go. Can I just say it's a sad day for your enemies? All right, well, and what do bow. you have your eye on? Nope. The quiver. Yep. That really help. I could buy frozen flames now. Killing this of Niflheim. Was there something else? Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal Sindri. <laughs> I'm so terribly touched. Uh, sure. Okay, it's down this way. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <laughs> if so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm happy to have this because it unlocks quite a few bosses to fight. Although I'm probably hey, going to get my ass kicked by them. I just realized. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Got about 12 more minutes before I gotta get ready for work, so I'll be sure to record a bit more of this tonight. I might actually start streaming another game tomorrow, some Persona 4 on the hardest difficulty. Because I've only really streamed Minecraft and it's not really going anywhere. Oh right, the up here. from that too. Wait, did I get it from the first one? Probably. Go oh, back, huh? back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? 
Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Okay, now I could get off. Why wouldn't it let me do that earlier? And have to climb down it when you just want to kick the chain down. Gotta check the ravens, but I don't see any. Under his palm, we're almost there. I believe it was this way. I could be okay. I was wrong. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. It really has. And while we're here... Another. Ah, 
You know this one, don't you? It's Thamu, the giant stonemason. Is he <laughs> building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. Yep. Like, like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What <laughs> kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Alright, I'm going to end off here for now. I'll be back tonight. I just need to get ready for work. So, with that said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time.